Okay, so we have over here Todd's capacitive discharge tic tac contraption and a green ensign stick that's giving us a fairly decent signal. We're trying not to perturb the air too much. And we're going to charge up the capacitors inside until breakdown and we'll see what exactly is going to happen. Let's slowly charge it up. In this setup, we are ground on the outside and negative on the inside. It's getting close to discharging. Discharge. Boop. Boom. Now down over there we have a laser that was centered on zero in the very beginning. Let's see if it's going to move at all. Slow down the discharge rate. Oh, charging rate. It's definitely swinging back and forth. The dot does seem to be dropping below the line. When that dot drops because it's calibrated to the uh, counterweight, that means the uh, experiment is going up, losing weight, which is what we discovered last time when we ran this experiment with the negative on the inside and the positive ground on the outside. It was losing weight, and in the opposite configuration, it wasn't... It didn't gain weight, but it was just swinging a lot, that's what we noticed. Here's the line again. It is close to the line, it hasn't moved much. In the past we were getting several inches of deflection at that distance. Those lines are roughly inches, might even be less. So I expect to see something. Maybe discharging internally because right now they're discharging at about 40,000 volts. I'm not sure if this thing works anymore. It's intended to. Also, it's drawing current continuously up. In order to get it to fire, I have to bring the current up much higher. In the previous run, I had the current uh, at about less than half of a uh, milliamp before it would fire. Now it needs to go over a milliamp to fire. Yeah, I had it down like over there. So there, and you can hear a, a twitching sound. Like a clicking sound. I think there's some sort of internal discharge going on inside it. You may, 
we might not be seeing any effects because simply the current is not going into the right direction. Power her down. Let's see if there's any, uh, um. Oh shit, I insulated it. We are now testing with argon filled. We filled it up with argon this time. Definitely is using less current this time to, yep, yeah, less current to fire. Fires sound a bit different. We zeroed it out again after filling it with argon. Let me uh, get this down. There you can see the dots. Jatin, can you turn off the lights behind the uh, saw? Yeah. Yeah, that, that increased, increased contrast. You guys are able to hear every time it fires. Reaching about 40,000 volts before firing. We did also add, I may add, um, we also added these capped on tape pieces over here. And also I'm noticing there are sparks when it fires along those bolts, look. Not every time. On a time? No. No. Yes. It's randomly, it's just happening on the other side. I don't see it happening there, so there might be a loose connection. Ugh, I'm so zoomed in, it's hard to find the thing. There it is. Definitely swing around up there. 